I definitely use a lot of uh, keyboard shortcuts to launch applications. And an issue I've run into is I'll just have a bunch of windows open or I'll have stuff on different tags and I'll go to launch an application. Uh, let's say it's my terminal. And at the end of the day, I'd end up having all these extra terminal windows open when I just needed to go to the terminal that was already open. And so to avoid this scenario where I end up having the same things opened unnecessarily uh, more than one time and it clutters up my desktop, I use WM control. And uh, from the man page, I use this A flag switch to the desktop containing the window, raise the window and give it focus. So, so here's how this works. So for example, if I want to launch speed crunch, I have that program to go, uh, by the way, this is also awesome window Man manager and I have a program to go on my third screen on the fourth tag over. So I'll just launch it and there it is on my right screen. And now if I launch it again, you're obviously not seeing this because it's on my right screen. All that did is it did not launch speed crunch again, my, my calculator. It just uh, switched it. Um, it just switched to it. So how does this thing work? Uh, so I'll use WM control. And if it finds a window on my desktop with this title, uh, it'll switch to it. Now, if it doesn't find a window with this title, that means that that command, that this command fails. And so then the application launches. So um, that's what this logical operator is. So if this command fails, then launch the application. Okay, so anyways, once again, I'll switch to, if, it, if the application is open, it switches to it. And if then it's not open, it launches speed crunch. So here's some other examples. I really don't ever want to need, I really don't need to have more than one instance of Thunar open. Thunar is my file manager that I use. And that always has the title, you know, in the second half of it, it's always file manager. So if it's open, then I switch to it. Otherwise I launch a new instance of Thunar. And then, but let's say I want to open up two Thunar windows, then I just do control N. And so that way I can have two open if I want to copy over files or something like that. Some other examples are my agenda and you know, I could just be working and I don't know if I have my agenda open or not. And then I just do control all day and it just launches it if it's not open. And if it's open, it switches to it. So uh, this can also help you from accidentally, this is my, uh, my short list, my short to-do list. It's very fancy. It's a plain text document. And so, uh, yeah, I'm like, okay, I need to do to, to do item control alt one is what I use for that. And if it's open, I'll switch to it. And if it's not, it opens it. And then I type on it. So that way I'm not opening up two documents and then I'm getting conflicted copies and, uh, having other issues. So, same thing with my terminal. I use LX terminal mainly. I use URXVT for these for a specific reason with awesome W awesome uh, window manager. It's something I need to look into. Um, but here I, you know, here's one thing with LX terminal and this is control alt T what I use control alt T for, uh, to launch, to launch LX terminal. So if it finds this title, then it exits. This one's a little different. Uh, otherwise it looks for this title. That means I've already run a command. So you see here, initially I get LX terminal and then uh, my terminal title shows the last command run. So you see up here really tiny, you see the three dots and uh, it shows, well, it shows the last command run and the path. And so um, if that's successful, so this is another logical operator. If that's successful, then I exit. So here I can't do this negative operator. Like if it fails, I have to do the positive one because otherwise uh, it'll, it won't work correctly. So, and then finally, if both of these don't work, then I launch the terminal. So if you're on 
let's say a regular kind of desktop environment, you may need to do, like I know in XFC, I had to do bash dash C, and then you put, you know, the whole command in, in quotes, or you may need to just put it in a script. So, uh, and then you can implement this and I've just found it to be very helpful. So maybe it can be helpful for helpful for you. I hope so.